you at Jeff Mayweather. Jeff, in Vegas, big fights coming up this weekend for us in Australia. Tim Zhu, Sebastian Fondora. Um, I guess your overall thoughts on that fight, break it down for us. I think that that's going to be a very, very exciting fight. Um, Fandor is really good too. And um, I, expect, I expect a great fight uh, between the two. Um, I lean slightly toward Zoo. Um, he's very strong and very aggressive. And, um, and um, Pandora, I guess he's coming off of a loss, right? Yeah, so that, that, that kind of, you know, um, shows that he's not invincible. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just think, I think it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight for the fans. Have you seen much of Tim Zhu? What do you do? You rate him as a fighter? How do you assess Tim Zhu? Um, I've seen Tim Zhu, but I've only seen him like maybe twice. And um, he's he's like he's like kind of like his dad. And um, and if he's like his dad, that's, that means he's good because his dad was a world champion also. But um, I think that. Um, I think Tim's, Tim's a great fighter. He's a great fighter, and I think that um, this fight right here will show um, his greatness. I mean, because this is a, this guy's like, what, two foot taller than him? Yeah, he's six foot five. <laughs> yeah. Six foot five. Yeah. And, but, uh, but I've seen I've seen him fight, too. And um, he's pretty good, too. He, um I seen him in uh, down in Mexico. I seen him. He um, he fought down there. Uh, very very tall guy. Throws a lot of punches for a guy his his height and his you know. And um, but he doesn't he doesn't really box for a guy that's his height. He should be a boxer. But he's but then again he's Mexican. So there's very few that you know that's gonna turn into a boxer. You know Canelo is probably. Um, you know, a guy that's known and you know for being a Mexican fighter and actually knows how to box. You know, I'm not saying that all of them don't know how to box because a lot of them do. And um, I think Marquez was a, was a great boxer when he back in his day. But um, for the most part, I mean, they like to go to war. Yeah. And um, and I think Fandor, he's he's pretty he's pretty much the same. So, but. I mean that's a, that's a, that's a that's a pretty big problem in front of you. <laughs> so Tim, Tim, I think Tim better be throwing some overhands. Um, yeah, he's gonna have to do something to bring him down. He was supposed to fight Keith Thurman. Do you think that yeah. that the Thurman fight would have been a tougher fight for Tim? I think yeah, I think Thur Thurman probably would. But with, with Thurman, you never know because the guy he 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 fights and then he don't fight for. It. You know, for long, long periods, and I mean, no matter what you think, as a fighter, when you're not active, you're. All right. Yeah, but when you when you when you're act when you're not active, you're not at your best. I don't care how I think. I don't care what you think. You know, I mean, it's not like boxing is not cool when you're just resting. You know, you gotta you gotta be working. You gotta be working all the time, and I just think that. That might have been better for him to not fight him and maybe fight him in, you know, the next fight, if, if it's possible. Well, there was talk that Terence Crawford had activated his um, mandatory status oh, yeah. if he was to go up to 154. Do you think that's a step too high for Tim? How do you see a fight, Tim Zhu, Terence Crawford going? Um, I would lean toward Crawford. I would lean toward Crawford, but, I mean, I don't think it's going to be no walk in the park for him. You know, I mean, Tim's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, and I mean, I met him, what, about, uh, probably about maybe two years, a year and a half ago, or something like that. Uh, extremely nice guy, and, um, you know, he's the type of guy that, you know, if, if you know him, you would cheer for him, you know. But against Crawford, <laughs> that's different. <laughs> that's a whole nother beast. But... I would love to see that fight too. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great for him. And I think that that would be a fight that shows 
the boxing world what Tim's has has to offer. You know. It's a chance for Terence to come up as well and, and, and claim a championship in a, another weight class. Is that the incentive you think that, and the reason why Terence wants to fight Tim? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the reason why. I mean, Terence is, I mean, Terence is a great fighter. Um, you know, met him. He's a very nice guy as well. Um, I think that, um, I mean, to add to his legacy. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's the reason why he wants to fight Tim Zhu. Or, and plus, he couldn't get the Canelo fight. He was trying as hard as he could to get the fight, you know, with Canelo, and that's not happening. Yeah. And it's not going to happen. So, being that it's not going to happen, you gotta take you gotta take what's out there. What about Errol Spence? Do you think that that he comes back and and looks for that rematch with with Crawford, or do you think he goes in an, in, a, in a, another direction if he's to come back back to mm. boxing? Um, I mean, Earl's a, you know, I know Earl real well, and Earl's a, Earl's a great guy. I just don't know how he can come, how he's going to come back from that fight. I mean, sometimes, sometimes guys can come back from fights like that. I mean, I can, I can attest to that because my brother was, was a guy that, you know, was in tough fight, tough, tough fights. And matter of fact, he fought, he fought Costa too. But um, the thing is, is that, you know, when he was a guy that, you know, he would be in fights and even get knocked out in fights and people would think that he was finished. Mm. And a year later, he's another, he's a world champion again yeah. in, a, in a higher weight. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, with, um, with, with um, uh, Spence, um, I think he's. I think he just needs to t take some easy fights first to find out where he's at. Mm. You know, rather than jump right back into the fire with with, with Crawford or or with with Tim. Any, you know, right now. I mean, he, I just think that he don't he don't need that. Mm. Mm. You know, I think that he he needs to, you know, get back to feeling like he was before he got that loss. Mm. You know, I don't care, even if he's fighting a guy that's just a real pushover, but I mean, he still needs, he needs a win to keep to keep him motivated. Last one for your um, fight coming up, uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. Uh, thoughts on that one? Um, another great fight. Um, I lean slightly toward Devin. Um, I, I know that they both fought in the, um, in the amateurs. And I don't know, I don't think nobody knows what's going on in, in Ryan's head. I mean, because it's, it's so weird for a guy to, to be talking the way that he's talking, talking about anything else but fighting. And, um, and that should be his focus. And so I just don't know. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm looking for Devin to win that fight. I think it'll go. Excuse me. I, I think it'll go the distance. But I think that um, I think um, Haney will win that. Thank you so much, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.